11 guys on Florida State's team can bench press 500 pounds. Maryland guys, they touch a turtle. That seems like a fair fight. Second quarter, Seminoles up 10-0. The defense scores for the fifth time this season. Jamal Reynolds, the safety, 12-0 FSU. Seminoles, they're getting the ball back. First and 10. Chris Wenke, he's got the magic bean. He's throwing the magic bean. 58-yard TD pass to Robert Morgan. Stays in bound, 19-0. Seminoles still in the second quarter, 25-0. Maryland's. Lamont Jordan busting through it. Now he's running like 11 guys in white jerseys are chasing him. He's going to go 74 yards for the touch, finish with 114 yards. Last year, ran for 169 against the Knowles. 25-7, Florida State still. Third quarter, Wanky again, adding to the 32-7 lead. Throws it up there. Artrus Bell, nice catch, gets in. Wanky's 58th career TD pass, a new FSU record. But we watch here, a little trouble as he drops back. Wanky. Gonna roll the ankle, sprains the left ankle, they tape him up, he finished 11 of 15, 234 yards, three TDs, did not play the rest of the way because you can't play in your sweatshirt. Seminoles win it 59-7, 17th straight win, longest winning streak in the nation. Winky now has won 25 consecutive starts, it's the longest win streak by a Division 1A quarterback since Oklahoma's Steve Davis, won 28 from 73 to 75. Coach, though, he's worried about his quarterback's ankle, you know, he's like 40, osteoporosis and that, <laughs> he's worried about buying the game next week. He had a look like a slight sprain. Uh, probably could have played. Probably best he didn't play. And you know, normally you have to wait to the day after to see how bad something like this. I don't think it's severe. Definitely conference play for the Knowles. Valance, intimate setting, but it was intense. First quarter, Ken Simonton. Look at Simonton get out of trouble and go 20 yards to the house, and the Beavers were on top 14-0. It's 14-7. Patrick McCall puts it down, and Zeke Moreno, he is a tough linebacker for the Trojans. Yeah, and he's logged on, and he is now part of the God Network to tie the game at 14. Trojans coming right back. 26 in a row. The Beavers have lost to the Trojans, but they wouldn't quit in this one. Petros Papadakis gets the handoff. Fumble. Calvin Carlisle is there. Beavers have it, and it sets up Simonton again. Oregon State back on top, 21-14. It's 24-21 late. Beavers trying to run out the clock, and this will help. Simonton, third touchdown of the day from 36 out. The exclamation point for Erickson, the 26-game losing streak to the Trojans, is his story. 31-21, the final. Simonton, 234. That's a career high and three touchdowns. Game was tied in the fourth quarter. USC had a chance to take control. Oregon State muffed a snap on a punt. USC scored, but they could not take control of the game. Oregon State finished them off. Now we saw in Washington, their border war, and they were getting together and sharing things before kickoff. Joey Harrington, Justin Peel, give him six, and the Ducks jump on top 7-0. Second quarter, Oregon up 7-3. Maurice Morris. Some call him the Space Cowboy, some call him the Gangster of Run. 40 yards inside the 10. It would set up a field goal, 10-3 Ducks. Fourth quarter, it's 23-3. The Huskies are down, but Tuiasa Sopo won't quit. Marcus into the end zone. 23-9, point after fail. Tuiasa Sopo again time doing it with his arm. Willie Hurst sneaks it in there. It's a one touchdown game at 23-16. Fourth quarter, fourth and ten. This is the last chance. Who wants to be a millionaire that knocks down the pass? Matt Smith, the former baseball prospect, saving the day for the Ducks, and Oregon has done it again at Austin Stadium in front of a full-throated throng there. 23-16. That's 18 straight at home. Eight players who had started all four games at the same position. Alvarez looking for continuity. It's scoreless early. Wisconsin was on the move until Bollinger was picked off by Todd Howard. Tough break right there for Wisconsin. They did have a 3 0 lead when Drew Henson, he too had a little trouble giving it up. Just flat put it on the ground right there. John Favreau recovers. Badgers have it. It's 6 3, a battle of field goals. This is an old time Big Ten brawl. Bollinger, Chad Coots, give him six. Helmets are flying. It's a yard sale of equipment out there. 10-6, fourth quarter. Here comes the A train. He puts it on the ground. Was not called a fumble. Have we seen that before? Alvarez not happy with it. I think it was a good call this time, though. Same drive. Here is Drew Henson. Drew Henson throws it up. Who's got the bomb? You do, David. <laughs> David Terrell pulling it out of the crowd. Michigan up 13-10. This for the tie from Vitalik Pesetsky. And he hooked it. 
and Michigan escapes 13 to 10. Michigan after that great win over Illinois a week ago with another solid win holding off a game Wisconsin team. Yeah, Michigan gets up in the Big Ten now, but it was a game that Wisconsin could have won. They executed the defensive game plan that they wanted to. They had 72 coming off a loss to UAB and Tennessee in town. Fourth quarter, LSU had the balls down by 16. A.J. Suggs to Will Bartholomew. Tennessee would get a two-point conversion and they're within eight. Fourth quarter, same score, buck 35 to go, 30 inches. Suggs to their leader, Cedric Wilson, 15 yards. The ball's down two. They need the two to tie it out. Rohan Davey watches. So does Philip Fulmer. Suggs, all kinds of time. Eric Parker, we are tied at 31. LSU players holding hands. Rowan Davey would lead his team back down the field and leave it to John Corbello. 46 yards out, blocked, and we're going to overtime on the Bayou now. In overtime, LSU's first play, Rowan Davey to Robert Royal. How gutty was Davey? I'll tell you what, he played with a bad ankle. Three quarters of the game, they tried to knock him out. He wouldn't go out. LSU up 38-31. This is the ball's last chance. Fourth and three. Suggs to the end zone, falling to the turf. And one week after losing to UAB, LSU beats Tennessee 38 to 31 the final. The Vols off to their first 0-2 start in the conference since 1988. Davey started for Josh Booty and was brilliant. 23 of 35, 318 yards in Bama. Gamecocks trying to remain unbeaten. Oh, a trick oration from Lou Holtz. Thurman Ward runs down the runs down the play to stop and Lou Holtz pulls out a first down. First and 10 on the Alabama 20 here is Phil Petty to Jamail Kelly, the hero from last week. Bama's lead cut to 13-10. The Tide going back to Ahmad Galloway, benched last week against Arkansas and apparently didn't like it much. Oh, he stepped in this time and goes all the way on this touchdown, got out of Alabama up 27-17. That's what Alabama would hold on and win by by 10, so South Carolina falls for the first time this season, first time on the road. South Carolina couldn't score on three trips inside Alabama's 10-yard line. That turned out to be the difference in the game. Tied has a week off. Auburn, second quarter, Tigers up 3-0. Damon Duvall already kicked one field goal. He's tired of kicking field goals. Perfect shot to Lorenzo Diamond for the touchdown, and Auburn's up 10-0. They would go on to win it by much more than that. 33 to nothing. The Tigers are unbeaten at 5-0, 3-0 in conference play. In Arkansas, Houston Nutt had never lost a game at home since becoming the Razorback head coach. Jasper Saints. Oh, this is why it was a parade All-American. Trying to live up to some of that promise. Dogs up 17-nothing. And look at this effort. Saints just digging and driving to get into the end zone. Third quarter, dogs up 24-nothing and Quincy Carter. Damian Gary, and there goes Damian, 44 yards. Big bounce back day for Quincy Carter after the tough outing against South Carolina. The whole team bounced back. Georgia back in the hunt in the SEC East. 38 to seven, the dogs proved the point. Donnan said the most important game he's had since he's been there. The dogs come up large with an impressive win. They've got Tennessee coming up. We'll talk more about that a little bit later on. Kentucky and Ole Miss, Romero Miller. Maybe not achieving just what Cutcliffe had hoped early in the season, trying to get things going against the Wildcats. Grant Hurd pulling it in. And Ole Miss put some points on the board. 35 to 17. Ole Miss winning at home against Kentucky. Starkville, the only place in the SEC Steve Spurrier had not won. Wayne Madkin, to Larry Huntington. He's getting in there. This after Florida scored a couple of touchdowns to tighten it up is 31-23. Second and 39. And for the second straight snap, it goes over Rex Grossman's head, and he has swarmed under. It's the kind of play do you have for third and 56 in the book, John. You have anything? That much. <laughs> Who let the dogs out, Reese? Whoop. You should never have Whoop. a snap like that go over your head. That's the center's fault. Florida ended up taking the safety. State scored some more. 47 to 35. Mississippi State with an impressive win at home, knocking off the third-ranked team in the land, and Spurrier still hasn't won in Starkville. And motions were running high. Third quarter, Purdue up 13-9. Travis Dorsch can't get off the putt. That would be a theme. Penn State would take over. The ensuing possession, Richard Casey, make it pay off, giving it to Paul Jefferson. Point after was blocked. Penn State up 15-13. Next possession, have we seen this before? 
Not sound in the kicking game. Dorch again can't get it off. Again, it's Derek Wake right up the middle. A couple of plays later, Casey's going to take it for the corner. Yeah, Casey knows that if he can get to the edge, he can make things happen. Oftentimes, he's in the pocket. Today, they got him outside sometimes. Penn State had the lead, but this to put Purdue on top. And Dorch, boy, I tell you, it's been one of those years. Travis Dortz, one of those days for Breeze and company as Penn State does it to Purdue. 22 to 20 the final. The Nittany Lions finally getting their second win of the season. Has snapped a 16-game winning streak against unranked Big 12 number one team in the land. Nebraska against Missouri, second quarter, 14-7. Bobby Newcomb returning the punt. And John, is it okay for Bobby Newcomb to not put his heels on the 10 and not go backwards when fielding a punt? Only if you're going to run it this far back. <laughs> uh, 94 yards. Longest punt return in school history is 21-7. But Missouri kept putting points on the board. Zach Abram taking the pitch, and he's untouched. On Husker defense that Ron has said is suspect at times. It's 28-21. Missouri's next drive. Black shirts coming up with a play. Jamie Burrow going the other way and scoring. Huskers go on to win at 42-24. That defense got pushed around a little bit, especially after Carlos Polk was injured and limped off the field with an injury. The defense was suspect. Only helped his Heisman cause. Well, Danny and Tomlinson hoping to do the same thing against Navy. TCU had a 10-0 lead. Horned Frogs had the ball, and they go to Ladanian, and with that, he becomes TCU's all-time leading rusher, passing Tony Jeffrey. Third quarter, Tomlinson into the house. 33 carries, a buck 21, and a touchdown. Fourth quarter, TCU up 17-0. Casey Printers going off that arm. George Lane, Printers, important for him to throw the ball well to open lanes for Tomlinson. He did it well enough in this one, 24 to nothing. Tomlinson, I mentioned the buck 21. That's well off his average, about 50 yards below his average on the season. Back up rushing numbers. How about Woodrow Dantzler Clemson against Duke? This is the quarterback draw, a staple of the Tiger offense. Woodrow takes it in there. Still in the second quarter. Let's start calling him Woodshed Dantzler because the shed was open for business as I don't know if this is Vic-esque or if Vic's run was Dantzler-esque. Both of them are pretty good. Dantzler with a huge game again, 174 yards passing, about 34 rushing, accounting for four touchdowns. Open games, fourth quarter. Arizona was hammering them 20 to 3. Chris Lewis, young quarterback, puts it on the ground and goes Haroon the other way. And he's going to do a little up and over. It's not excessive celebration, is it? 27 to 3. Arizona lays it to Stanford. The Cardinal even up, up 7 0. And Scarlet Knights having a little trouble with James Jackson from 39 yards out. This is not a game that Rutgers wants to play very often. They scored 23 points last year. I think Miami remembered. Four in a row, over 50 for the Canes, 64 to 6. Jackson ran for a couple of touchdowns, caught a touchdown pass. Rutgers just 48 yards rushing in Big East games this season. Onion Syracuse has seen on ESPN2. Watch Brett Ingeman's right arm and get hooked on Lewis Gashlin's arm. And Ingeman out for the game and possibly much, much longer, maybe the season. He dislocated his shoulder. James Mungro just has a knack, John, of popping out of a pile. <laughs> a big pile, too. This is exactly the kind of Syracuse offense everyone was looking for. The balance. Troy Nunes had a good game today, and they really need that. 42-14, the final. They outrushed BYU 224-21. to Had this thing over at halftime. It was in the third quarter, Marshall up only 17-14 on the Bulls. Byron Leftwich, Darius Watts, electrifying 61 yards. The thundering herd takes it in 24-14, and Marshall would turn it on from there. 47-14, the final. Marshall after the loss to Michigan State and to North Carolina bouncing back. And those two got together. Third down and five. K-State with a 13-6 lead, and Jonathan Beasley to Quincy Morgan. Beasley really playing well, John. Yeah, he came into the game the number two rated passer in the country. He had another big game, and he was very good on third down. This one right here going to Aaron Lockett in the corner, and Gary Barnett falls again. K-State making a statement perhaps to those people who would dare criticize their early season schedule. 44 to 21. Beasley 361 yards of total offense and three touchdowns. 44 by the way the most K-State has ever dropped on Colorado. K-State off to a win. Ricky Williams hoping to see his alma mater do the same. Texas and Oklahoma State that 34 retired. 
John, you wanted a message to Ricky quickly? Uh, Ricky's hair is a little long. I think he <laughs> could use a haircut. Hodges Mitchell going in from three yards out. Texas up 10-7. Major apple wide into the game to the freshman. Oh, it's another Williams. Roy Williams, 96 yards. He would take it in. Second longest in school history, I believe. Applewhite hit Wayne McGarity a couple yards longer. 42-7, Texas rolls. They've got Oklahoma next. And if Applewhite were the quarterback of that team from start to finish, he'd be in the Heisman race. And then in Oklahoma? I did. Oklahoma taking on Kansas. Jayhawks have won the last three meetings. This is Josh Heupel. That's Andre Wolfolk. That's a touchdown. And that the win for Bob Stoops. 34-16, Oklahoma rolls over KU. The Sooner defense had five picks and six sacks. KU hadn't allowed a sack before this game. Hey, and you don't just walk into M.M. Roberts Field and expect to emerge victorious if you're a Conference USA team. Southern never lost there and didn't plan to start against Memphis. Wayne Woods busting up the middle. Late in the fourth quarter, you see it was a defensive struggle, 9-3 until that touchdown. It's 17-3 when Neil Suber picked off. Southern Mississippi defense, I think they're more potent than the Southern Mississippi offense. They score every week, it seems. 24-3, the final in this one. They make it a reason to come to the ballpark because their defense attacks, they're exciting. Robinson leading the run in revs, 13-12 in the third quarter. Jason Thomas. Jason, Th this is the guy they're so high on, signed on with USC and transferred out there, and they really like him. Yeah, John Robinson recruited him to SC and then brought him on over to UNLV when Thomas got frustrated about not Week's loss at Oregon, starting QB Ryan Keeley leaving in the third quarter with a sprained right knee. Sun Devils down 28-21 after leading 21-0. Griffin Goodman hits Richard Williams, 60-yard touchdown. Williams' second TD of the game, it's tied at 28. Goodman, by the way, a 25-year-old walk-on. Deshaun Foster gone with a broken right hand. They're dropping like flies. 142 left in the third. Corey Poss. Freddie Mitchell. Oh, oh man, is he wide open. 35-28 UCLA with that touchdown. The Bruins go on to win 38-31. Give me a hug. The Bruins are beat up. Keeley with a sprained right knee. Deshaun Foster, broken right hand. Both the Game tied at three. Northwestern with the ball. Check out Teddy Johnson. Oh, Teddy's diving for a 39-yard touchdown catch. Northwestern out in front, 10-3. Big day for Damian Anderson. Second quarter, Northwestern with the ball up 13-10. Anderson. Oh, Anderson. Yeah, he's taking that one to the house. 32 yards later, it's a touchdown for the catch. 20-10 to 10 for the Purple Gang. Then, with Northwestern up 23-10, third and five in the third quarter. Anderson, this time, 41 yards. Wow. Two touchdowns and a career-high 219 yards rushing. The Cats surrender 134 yards rushing by their defense. However, they came into the game ranked 108th out of 114 teams in rushing defense. Guess who it's Michael Vick. And this is more than a touchdown run. It's foreshadowing Vick. 115 yards rushing in the first half. 28-14 Hokies. Third quarter now. Lee Suggs. He can run pretty well, too. Suggs, 22 carries, 145 yards, a couple of touchdowns. It's 42-20 Vatek. Now in the fourth quarter, we've already notified the SB committee. Michael Vick, this is the highlight they'll show during the Heisman speech. This is just sick. Watch him elude BCDB Lenny Walls here, right in front of the goal line. Lenny, 82 yards. Vic ran for a career high 210 yards and three TDs. Michael Vick's 210 rushing yards, a school record for quarterbacks, and the third highest total in Hokey history behind Kenny Lewis in 78 and Ron Turner saying, Come on, guys, you can do it. Travis Cole agreeing with him. Look at the big fella roll out. His major college debut, nicely done. 14 zip Minnesota in the first. Meanwhile, Kurt Kittner had a rough day. Justin Hall, nice to meet you. Oh, 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 yeah, oh. past the Advil. Later in the second, 21 zip Gophers, Tellus Redmond. Oh, Tellus. 21 yards later, he takes it in for the score. Minnesota wins this one in a laugher. Tellus with an enormous day, 299 total yards. And how about.